All right, York versus Renekton. All right, so right off the bat, guys, this matchup isn't too bad, but there are some things you got to keep in consideration in this lane. First things first is he does have a uh, some kind of wall that he puts up. Now, when he puts that wall up, what it can do to you is if you have your dash on cooldown, he can actually technically kill you if you don't play off of that. So what you want to do is obviously when you use your dash, maybe use one dash there, watch the wall and dash over that wall. So you don't get stuck in that because that can 100% kill you when it comes down to R and all that. Um, besides that, though, trades are pretty easy. Uh, you should be able to get your trades off whenever you want to, and your trade should out-trade York. Um, the only thing you got to worry about is more of the extended fight trades. But after a little while, you should just get that fat lead, which I'll show you in this game, how to get that lead and just dominate Yorick. All right, guys. Coral Fester. Ooh, I love Coral Fester. That's what it says. All right, he's a good CSer. OTP Yorick, so only plays Yorick. That makes the matchup that much more greater uh, because he's just playing this champion, so I do like that a lot. Uh, and he's gold, too, so the rank is starting to go up. Starting to go up. If you guys want this app, guys, check it in the description below. Uh, it's in the description. Link on it, guys. Click on it. It helps the stream out so much if you download this app and use it, guys. It's a great app, and I use it all the time on stream. All right. Here we go. Let's go long sword. Three pots. There, again. I love that star. Actually, wait. So, the changes I'm making, I'm not running ghosts in this game. I'm actually running teleport because I'm trying something new on stream, and I'm actually having some success with it, too. So, we're running teleport. And if you are running teleport, you aren't so forced to run that three pot start. Instead, what you can do, you can actually go longsword and with refillable instead. Knowing that you have TP, if a bad trade does happen, you can just see back to land knowing you're going to be okay. Uh, let me just tell him don't get up. Just to like make the lane more, it's Retin versus Yorick, and there's no jungle involved into the lane. All right. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, let's do the rest of the bad guys. They got a Lee Sin. So Lee Sin could be top around 245 around that point. So you might want to do an early ward. Let's get a feeling of where he starts out. Uh, things of that nature. Uh, they got an AP Cho'Gath, I'm guessing, uh, with Ignite. Those are always so cheesy, man. The damage is unreal. Then you got a Draven Alistar. Very snowball lane here. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. Uh, usually these kind of lanes can go really, really bad really, really quick. Hopefully, Bottle can hold out. If they can hold out, we'll be just fine. Because their team comp is actually pretty uh, pretty bad versus me. I will talk. I should be very successful versus that. Okay. Level 1, York has his Q, as we can start with. Uh, you out-trade him level 1. He's one of the few champions you can out-trade level 1. Because uh, he's going to go for a Q on a CS. Why does that? It's kind of like Nasus. You can literally just go back at him. Perfect. Great trades. He's gonna go for the CS. I didn't miss that minion, but you see how he goes with CS. I'm always gonna go for an auto trade afterwards. Ah, I shouldn't have walked away. I should have took the Q. I missed another CS. It's fine though. We already got a pot there too, so it's, it's, it's hype. I don't have that CS. Um, again, I love Kadesh and everything I can. I think it's really, really nice. I'll trade there as I'm trying to get all this CS arena. Again, it's 2.30. Uh, we need a ward very soon. Very, very soon. Uh, I would love to shove this wave in and then roam. That oh, turret hit me. Mm, that's unlucky. All right, now we need to get that ward out like right now. Because it's 2.48. Um... Okay, at least next went violent instead. Uh, yeah, okay, we're okay then. Yeah, I want to get that ward out. Use your on 245. I try to get that next wave shoved in. Okay, this is where I'm going to start looking some freezy here. Let me clear all these. Yeah, she's really chunked out. He has no more pots left either. I just have a lot of pots to dig with as well, too. So we are completely okay. Um, all right, perfect. Playing nerves, playing pretty far back. That's a win for us. Just stay right here. It's a nine. The CS here is gonna walk away. 2015, the lane is slow pushing to us. He has no real stacks to work with either. Really good. There you go. He, he can't even really walk up for CS. This is what we want. We kind of put him in a really weird position. Yeah, clear the ghouls out. Let's clear the ghouls. They can't really just do a huge chunk of damage on you. Uh, if he stays. Actually, wait. Let's see what he does here. 
He's gonna try to back. Uh, that's not worth it. Just let him back. But I mean, dude, we're gonna get his TP here, which is still a huge win for us. Um, I mean, look at the CS difference. We're at right, 12 CS. Pretty good. I guess now we'll just reset, take the dub off this. He went out and bought a D-Blade, which is definitely not as good as what I'm going to buy here, which I can go for either Boar Crush, I can go for Team Matt. Um, I'm going to probably look at doing a, uh, probably a Boric Rush here. Yeah, let's do that. Boric into a cool, because we can buy it. And uh, awesome. T-Ping here. Pretty free play, it looks like. He's just running it down. Awesome. That's what a good TP can do for you, boys. Again, we knew we had a window here, too. Let's say they completely shoved in here. Okay, they're going to shove it all in for me. I'm going to back away now. I don't want to miss too much waves top. You're one of those champions that you can't really ignore for too long. If you ignore him for too long, he will end up uh, really abusing your team. Like, really hard. Because he'll take so many objectives really, really fast. Uh, he's one of the fastest like turret takers in the game. He goes demolish uh, when he has his ulti. The ghoul hit their turret, and it just it really adds up. So you have to constantly keep in mind that like he will constantly split push. Okay, because he's one of the best at it. He's similar to Trinimir. They're very very similar. Wait, are we gonna lose this? How are we gonna lose that? Wait, what? That's unlucky. Oh, well, what I did, I thought we'd easily get that. Right there, doing those devil dashes can get risky because he can always like pull you into his puddle. And like I said, he can also like try to ult you there too. He's gonna go on me. Go him now. He used everything there. And just walk back out on him. Awesome. Free low play, guys. I saw an opportunity. I want to take that. Again, I had the item advantage. Remember, we just backed. We got a kill there, too. So we had the item advantage. D-Blade over Vampire Acceptor. Cool. Just take that fight. My mains are banging on his face. You know, making it work. And I already killed all of his ghouls there, too. So all I had was ulti hitting me. If he has his ghouls in you, too, you're probably going to lose that really hard. But in that situation, I've already killed them all. So it's pretty free low at that point. Again, he has no TP. So I let him use it earlier in this game. So we're going to abuse that. And we're going to take everything we can right here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I guess I was back now. I'm going to back now, take the dub. I think what I'm going to buy here is a... Uh, back there. Put them back. He's probably trying to sell my back now. I say here, his W will miss. Yeah, I think he's still kind of worried about walking in on me, though. All right, I'm going to go for this item instead. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go for that. Do I want armor? I probably should go tabbies. Mm. But Cho'Gath's starting to get really big. And Merc Treads is so good versus Cho'Gath. It just is. Because you get a silence, and obviously Tenacity is very good versus silences. And there's also Magic Reads too, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can, if I have a choice, I will go Merc Treads every chance I get. Um, but obviously, if you go Merc Treads and you're not really winning a lane, or it could cost you the lane, then it's not worth. You got to keep that in mind. They clear a goal here. Clear the goals. You know, we have a lot of sustain here, too. And because we didn't go the team out, we actually hold the wave here. Put in a really weird spot. Okay, so what's happening right now? I thought they are going to fight in the jungle. I saw some things happening down there. I'm holding on to my dash. We get right behind him here. Now he can't really do it much here. He's in a really weird spot. There's a splash. Awesome. So I did that. I held on to my dash for quite some time. Again, it's a four-second window. So a lot of Yorks are end up using their uh, using their wall whenever you use your dash. You wait about two seconds because they don't really know the cooldown of it. But it's a four-second wait period. So if you guys can literally just hold on to your E, like just seriously save it. I'm telling you, it works so much. Like right there, you saw how I like held on to it for a long period of time, waited for me to use the wall, then I dashed behind the wall. So there's really nowhere for him to go. Because he's really chunked out, he's at the back away again, which means hey, more waves that he is missing. Cool. This minion's trolling me. Minion, come back. This is greedy. Oh, he's ganking for me. I asked for no ganks. Or it's fine. <laughs> is that that moment York knew there was nowhere to go? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, well, this will take you. I, I actually know, ganks. I mean, guys, I think I pretty much showed you most of how the Lenny phase works. We'll get in the mid game, though, soon. We're going to see his, like, constant split push prowess that he can aggro. Uh, good thing about Renekton is that I love about Renekton is that, like, even though he wants to probably split push the uh, York, we can literally, uh, we can, like, do, uh, we can match it so easy. And we clear the wave so fast, too. So it's really not too bad. But obviously, don't want to let him just, like, take over the lane. I guess this turret has a lot of room to work with. I just taking all my CS. What is he doing? What are you doing, man? All right, let's reset. Let's go back into Bork. A huge buy for us. 7-7. Seven seven. We got a close game on our hands. That's exciting. It's hype. I want a close game. Makes it more fun. Right, let's get a Bork. And uh, I'm going to probably go... I'm going to go Tabby's, man. I, you know, I really want to go Mertrez, but... I mean, they're so heavy AD, and Draven's starting to get going. That Tabby's just seems kind of necessary. I'm right, in the two slot. All right, so next I want to get is probably a team out here. A little more wave clear across the map. Uh, I am going Sorcery Tree. So the tree that I'm going, uh, trying to match the reason I'm going Teleport, is uh, I'm trying to go a Boric, Black Cleaver, Sterics Gauge, and a Death Dance. So kind of like a... You're really, really beefy. You are very, very beefy for the most part because you got Sterics Gauge Brock. You got Death Dance with that uh, tankiness, and then Black Cleaver Health. You're pretty beefy for the most part and do a lot of damage. You are somewhat immobile, but that's what the TP is for. Try to be a little more mobile. Right there. He's going to like keep me in this. Yeah, right there. I can't kill him. That time I used my dash like more preemptively. I held on to it and maybe kill him, but I don't think he would have used it. I think he's starting to learn how I play a little bit. You see that guy? I do have ulti now. Ulti was down last time. I still feel pretty strong. So, I'll have Pyre just in case. Like, they try to make something happen on me. But, I'm feeling good. I right, ocean the map in a second. Keep that in mind. Well, I want to walk up on this guy, see what we can do here. Shut out one wave and they'll walk down. If I don't clear this wave, I'm telling you, I'll take my turrets, like, really quickly. Let's walk down now. Again, I've always tell you guys, shove out mid wave and get the chance. What I'm trying to do right here is shove out the mid wave. Uh, I want that team at though, so I can club waves a little bit quicker. So now it's kind of awkward. Mm. You get to show the mid wave, guys. Bay's trying to force someone to go here so we easily get that dragon. Top of the fact, too, we might be able to get a play here as well. Again, we're pressuring, 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 just not sitting around. We want to take as many objectives as possible. I don't know where he's going. Uh, Echo? I, I, I can't do anything for you, buddy. <laughs> there, there's nothing I can do for you, my dude. Do you want me to assist him? I, I mean, I can't help him. It's so awk. I will go for this camp, though, ever. Take it all. Take it all. All right, right here, guys. Let's time it right. And we should easily kill this York. We play this right. Here we go. I had a flash on that. Just keep lifestone off this. I think their jump mid laner's coming top. I'm gonna try to dash off the lease in here. Just like that. Now we walk right on out. This. All right. Deuces. Bye bye. See ya. Again, I waited for Lisa to land that Q because I knew I could double dash. If I didn't wait for that, then uh, he would have easily. Uh, I would have never made it out because one dash would not make me out of there. So I had to make sure I land that dash. Now, Chogat could have just silenced me. If he just silenced me, I don't think I could have. I mean, I'd have held on my dash till after the silence, but I don't know if I'd have able to survive all that. That might have been too much. Let's go team at into a ruby crystal. And let's walk straight back top lane. Awesome. That's another thing too, guys. If you see a situation like this where you know if you do one dash, you're going to die, try to hold on to it. Wait for the line to kill. Just, you know, wait for you to get a chance to make that second dash. Because two dashes can get you out of some really crazy situations. One dash, it might not. Uh, there's no TPing for this. That guy's done. All right, drags up in two minutes and 59 seconds. I want to play for that. They are taking bot lane turn off this, which is awesome. So one death for an objective. That's worth. I use my dashes. I can't really catch him, but Nunu is on his way. So I do have Bork active in uh, six seconds. So it's about York as well, too. I didn't say it earlier. Is that he can walk through his wall. You can't. So it's like 
Yeah, you're not allowed to walk through it, but he can walk through it. I'm pretty sure his teammates can too. I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I know for sure he can. So he can wall you. He can walk in and out of the wall whenever he wants. Maybe someone in the comments actually can like say, oh yeah, that's how it works. So yeah, cause I'm like not entirely sure on that one. I'm pretty sure his teammates can, but I'm not 100% sure. There might have sent a lot of guys after us here. I don't have flash here, but I'd love to try to get this turret. This is going to be a little risky. We bomb it here. We bomb it. We bomb it. We bomb it. Or we don't. Use that Bork active. Walk on out. I don't know why I didn't stop hitting it, though. Uh, there's no making out of this, guys. If Nunu kept hitting it, this turret's gone. Why you stop hitting it? Ah. Uh, like, why are you going for it if you're not going to finish it, bro? Uh, can we get this turret? Like, that changed the entire landscape of the game. It gives me, like, a free low push to work with. Like, even if I die, I think it's really worth it when we get this turret out of the way. Because this is inhibitor turret. You know, it's huge. Hmm. Bad death. Unfortunate death. Who did I die to, though? Oh, God. Ah, dang. I got ignited by the, uh, who did I get ignited by? Alistar? Okay, cool. we'll ping that. And we got a game on our hands, guys. Got a game on our hands. Got a fade here, and let's walk up. I do have dash. The Echo is doing a lot of insane stuff. Like, I don't really agree with what he's doing. He's dying way too much. By being just too greedy. I'm walking. I would go ham for this, but, like, this is why I'm not. I don't have ulti. Without ulti, I think it's just not that great. This is if I, I'm kind of worried about playing for Okay, there we go. Just walk out of Cho'Gath, get his flash, awesome. Uh, I do have TP. Two for two though, it's not bad. Let's play for the Inferno when it spawns. We got the Rift Herald there though. Oh, Cho'Gath got the Rift. Yeah, it's hard to smite a Cho. Probably just didn't survive for so long though. I'm gonna walk straight down here and help secure this objective. Because objectives are everything, guys. That's how you win games. They are everything. Kills is just a number, man. Get those objectives. Mm -mm -mm. There's a control word there. We'll make sure we clear that later in the game. Uh... Alright, cool. Grab this two infernals. Well, another infernal. First infernal. Second dragon. Whatever. Whatever, chat. Whatever. Alright, let's get this. And, uh... I go bot side here. I, I want to keep matching that York. Again, York is struggling versus me. Well, he's just gonna go for it. Is that gonna land though? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't have to show up, man. Oh my gosh. I do have R ready to go. I have Bork active. We see Draven topside. They're trying to rift mid. Uh, I think we can stick on this. Someone else gonna do it. I don't have to do it that myself. I can force him to back for me. Okay, there he goes. There's Alistar. I think Draven's backed as well, too. Yeah, we're just going to grab over here. Let's get some camps here if we can find some. Like, this camp should be up, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Grab this camp. It should give me my Black Cleaver, which is a huge buy for us. At 18 minutes, at Boric, Black Cleaver, Team at Tabby's. Cool finish. Like, we have a lot of money. So we are very, very strong. Hmm. I don't rotate there. This is not ideal. Uh, I do have TP. I don't really want to TP here though. I don't really want to. Um, let's go back over here. Fish of rain. I see York trying to split push over there. He's just so far behind. I don't. I think he's pretty demoralized in this lane. That's what you can do, man. You can definitely pull that off. On that. Uh, maybe I could have. I don't know. I don't know, chat. Maybe I should have. He's still alive. I should have TP'd. You know, actually, I don't have to. If I take this turret, then it's really worth. Really worth not to. They're sending so many guys after. I'm going to go for this. I get this. Yeah, it's actually really good on TP there. They sent so many guys after him.
Just walk out. We got what we wanted there, too. We got the turret. And now we can walk in the jungle, find some objectives here, too. My ulti should be up by the time next Infernal Dragon fight happens. And all these camps should be up. Let's go for this Ferris. Go for this next. Try to get all the camps here. Deny at least in everything. And if you can deny, that, that does everything for the team. Helps out tremendously. Now let's walk over here, get this camp here too. Just deny Lee Sin everything, guys. Again, if you're taking the objectives, that means Lee Sin is not. That means you're getting more experience. They're not. They're losing out on XP. So take everything you can. Are they actually fighting? Um, One more camp and then we'll reset. And this is kind of like farming where you go in their jungle and take their camps. This is why my CS is always so high. And this is why their jungler CS is always so low. Because I, I get in there and I get really inactive in their jungle. Because that's a game changer. Yeah, I kind of wish he landed that. Because if he tried to fight me there, oh, he dies 100%. 100%. Gosh, this echo is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's dashing in. He is so crazy. Oh my gosh. Hey, you got to kill, you know? Hey, hats off to him, man. He is the craziest Echo. He is the craziest Echo. I, I love it. I love it, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my gosh. This Echo is crazy. I don't think he likes landing versus the Cho'Gath. All right, I got some MR just for that little Cho'Gath there. I do have Tabby's too, but like I said, I'm going to Death Dance next. Bring me really, really strong in a lot of situations. Hey, man, it's going on YouTube, bro. Come on. Be positive. If you see RT on YouTube, you know it's me. It's going on YouTube, bro. Uh, drags up in 49 seconds. We need to play for that. No deaths. Please, no deaths. Because that team fight really should be so easy. It should be a, a, a massively easy fight for us to win. As long as we are up. If we're not dead, it's, it's really easy. I'm going to go one wave here. I do have Nunu kind of shadowing me. But even then, like, I don't know if we can fight a... Three, five. Maybe, maybe could, but it'd be that'll be a target selection fight. You gotta be smart about it. They're trying to Varen? No. And we got a super shoved out. Lee Sin's not even really nearby. They're all over in this area. Um, huge pick, though. That's a huge pick. That's a huge pick right there. I was obviously gonna, he's gonna flash on me like that. That's why he ults instantly. Make sure he can't land anything off this. Yeah, so they can walk through. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait. Why? Oh, now they walked that turret range. I'm trolling. Gosh, he's so beefy, man. That Thor mail. Oh, all their base is collapsing after that play. Oh, baby, take everything. All these outer turrets should go down. Nunu's not taking the outer turret, though. And he just don't like taking those turrets. I think it's gonna go down regardless. There's too many minions. Super worth. A death, though. Yikes. RTO, what are you doing? What are you doing? No one was there to get that turret. Yeah, you don't need this. Just back away. Let's go for the Infernal. I'll, I might even TP straight. I'm actually going to TP on it. Because they're going to bum it. And I would love for us to be on top of ASAP. Because they're going to try to bum it here. And Nunu, I don't think it's going to be up for it. Just make sure we secure this any way we can. Why did he stop hitting it? At least it's literally pathing. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're here, we're here, we're here. Is that dash there? <laughs> oh, baby. That's funny. Not a bad fight. Not too bad at all. We're getting that object there, too. I don't think they expect the turnaround right there and have a red and already full health, ready to go with everything. I don't think they were exactly ready for that. That's game. Ah, it's a game. I would love to go for the end. I feel like we might be able to. If new path in, I think we could. 
That's a pick. Ah, uh, we can't really go for the win here. We can clear a lot of this out though and try to get one turret off this. That turret goes down, awesome. There's ints, awesome. Now I leveled in now. Get that pick. I don't know if his ultis are or not, so just finish him off there. Again, he's still an AP Cho guy, so he's pretty squishy. Uh, with my dashes. Wait, I'm drawing. Let me just bounce back real quick. Hey, oh. All right, GG's, guys. That's how you play versus York. And uh, hey, guys, that's how you get those doves, baby. Hope y'all enjoyed the content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, let's go ahead. Play that as nice. Who's this, boys? Adios. See ya.